Okay, so I did some digging. I just did a video about a father who went to a school board meeting and he went absolutely ballistic, absolutely nuclear on the school board for an assignment, the health teacher, uh, and also, he's also a football coach, he gave to the students and it was like sexual fantasies. And give me an example of who you would do this to, give me their initials. What I found most disturbing was not just that, of course, that's gross, but none of the students got their assignments back. What's even more disturbing is when parents, they stand up against these school boards, they're labeled domestic terrorists. They even get, in some instances, they get visits from the FBI. You think that that's going to scare us parents out there who are hell-bent on protecting not only our children, but every child in that school district? Trust me, I've been I've been there. I ain't scared. Here, let me show you what I just found. This is abhorrent. Absolutely abhorrent. Okay, first of all, it happened in Eugene, Oregon at the Churchill High School. So here's a screenshot of the video that I just did. The coach and teacher's name is Kirk Miller. So he came under fire about giving the students assignment about their sexual fantasies. Not only did they not fire him, they put him on paid administrative leave. What do you mean paid administrative leave? Oh, that's right. Because if they fired this teacher slash high school coach, the football coach, he can't coach their football team. And it's almost as if that school would rather have a good record in football than protect its, its students. See, if I was on that school board, man, they'd hate me. Every teacher would hate me because you'd have to run by me. Every assignment that you're doing with with our students. Luckily, I'm not on the school board meeting, but luckily I am one of those parents that will show up. Will show up at a school board and say, what are you doing? Don't allow the threat of our government scare you into submission and not saying anything. I have to give a major round of applause to this dad for standing up the way he did and the students, his daughter, for bringing it to his attention. Kids, please, if you're watching, do not be afraid to tell your parents anything. We are here for you.